let's start making some sourdough bread. Now we start off by putting 300 grams of our sourdough starter into a bowl. I left the starter out of the fridge for a couple of hours just to get started again. And we're now gonna add 500 grams of flour, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. And uh, I'm gonna get that mixed up in the mixer again with 250 millilitres of water. So now mixing in a stand mixer, you don't need a stand mixer, you can of course uh, mix it with a spoon and uh, once it's uh, really well blended together we'll give it a good knead. And once it's out of the stand mixer it needs a really good knead, about 10 minutes worth of kneading until it's smooth and elastic. And uh, once you're happy with the smoothness and the elasticity of your, your dough, you then pop it back into your mixing bowl and cover it for a couple of hours. Okay, our sourdough has been proving or rising for about three hours. It takes a fair bit longer. Um, and what we're now going to do is we're going to knock it back a little bit. And then we're going to cut it in half like this into two separate loaves. And then we just form it into a ball and we put each into what's called a proving basket. This is not a proper proving basket, this is a, a bowl with a, with a, uh, a floured uh, tea towel in. We do that with the other one as well. And we'll then let them prove for a couple of hours, cover them. And I'll see you in about three hours time. Now my sourdough loaves have been proving, have been rising all afternoon. Sourdough takes a long time, it's an all day job. And what we then do is we get uh, our two loaves onto some baking sheets and I've oiled them slightly. We then split them a little bit like that with a, a knife, nice pattern like that. I'll do that with the other one as well. And then I'm going to cover them for another hour and a half or so before I bake them. So these have been proved for absolutely ages now. Um, I started uh, the sourdough dough about eight hours ago and they're now going to go into the oven at 230 degrees centigrade. One, two, for about half an hour or so. Half an hour later, get these out of the oven and uh, see what they're like on there. Number two. So I find it's a good idea just to let them cool a little bit by flipping them upside down for a few minutes and they should have a nice hollow feel. And there we have sourdough bread. It takes a long time but uh, it's worth it. Give it a go.